Welcome back to page 121, and welcome back to a time when Murder, She Wrote wasn't just in reruns and Magnum P.I. was still driving a red car around Hawaii. We are going back, back in time to 1984, specifically November of 84, in issue number 91 of Dragon Magazine. This guy was on the stands. Here we go. First we take a look inside. The flap of leathery wings, a chorus of reptilian grumps... Grunts, Christmas arrives at Rel Partha. I loved getting uh, figures for D&D for uh, Christmas. I love any kind of role-playing stuff for Christmas. I've gotten ma many, many things for Christmas over the years. Uh, maybe I'll do a video with a couple of the things I got here and there sometime down the line. Then we get a look at Rollmaster Returns, Arms Law and Claw Law, along with Spell Law from Iron Crown Enterprises. I liked ICE. They made nice products. Out of Charlottesville, Virginia. We have a fine table of contents for this November 1984 issue. We get letters to the editor. It's a brief editorial. It's continued on page 66. Continuing the letters to the editor. Change the course of history in one brief hour. Broadsides and boarding parties. From Milton Bradley Game Master Series. Yes, Milton Bradley is trying to find a way to kind of creep into the Tabletop craze at the time. Continuing on, we have the forum, which is just different opinions from readers. And then we have, because sometimes it's more fun to play the bad guy, Thieves Guild, completely revised second edition from Ga uh, Game Lords in Gettysburg, Maryland. I was exposed to some of the Thieves Guild stuff. One of my buddy had some of the stuff. Uh, and I read a few of the short stories. It wasn't my universe. It, it just didn't didn't speak to me. The Garistro Revealed, Big Dumb Demon Brought Out of Hiding by E. Gary Gygax. I loved the Garistro. I was so excited to get this particular beastie. Uh, he still pops up at my tables now and again. Big, nasty, 20-hit dice demon. I'll take a look at him probably in his own uh, sometime down the line. The Palladium Role-Playing Game, uh, books one and two from Palladium Games in Detroit, Michigan. Never played Palladium. Realistic Vital Statistics. A new system for figuring heights and weights. Well, that's kind of neat. Some Refuse to Die in the Aftermath from Fantasy Games Unlimited. Uh, new York. Out of Roslyn, New York. Anne McAfee's Dragon Riders of Pern Come to Life. The latest game in Nova's unique picture book game series. Nova Game Designs from Manchester, Connecticut. I don't remember seeing these. I'm sure I did, but I don't remember... Continuing on, Heights and Weights, we get the window of Jeroon. But Uncle, don't the dangerous cliche infest the East Tinru jungle lands? Okay. A role-playing game uh, for $14 from Sky Realms Publishing out of San Francisco, California. Not familiar with Jeroon. Finishing out our article on Heights and Weights, It's My Mind, Everyone Else Get Out, a straightforward enlightening book on being aware and understanding the different voices within. That's interesting. Uh, the Cinnamon Tree Bookshop offered this guy in Scottsdale, Arizona. A little uh, self-improvement while you're role-playing, I guess. And then we get Headhunters. Headhunters Limited. Uh, out of the... It's the Ultimate Nurse Mercenary Force out of Alvin, Texas. Dragonlance, live the adventure. Yes, Dragonlance was still new and still exciting and new. Lots of stuff coming out for Dragonlance, and this, not the least of which... Is, uh, a Fine Calendar from TSR. The Ecology of the Lucrata. A familiar sounding but fiendish looking beast. That's a pretty pretty neat monster. I'm going to have to uh, do a video on that one as well. So I, I'll feature that in a Creature Features. Nine Hells Revisited. More Facts About Devildom by Ed Greenwood. Ed Greenwood gets a fair amount in here. We have an issue with Gary Gygax for the one page Garistra article and Ed Greenwood. We get lots of stuff to deal with devils here. This is pretty interesting. I've used demons more than devils in my game. But uh, devils can be fun because of the whole lawful contract thing. And continuing on our article by Ed Greenwood. Silver Dawn. $5,000 quest tournament. It's a play by mail. Uh, I've talked about before on the channel from Pleasant, or from Charlotte, North Carolina. Continuing on our visit to the Hells. We have Cast Your Own Figures for the Duncan Company out of Calvert, Texas. 
I do remember reading and using a lot of the stuff in this article. It was a really good article. Ed Greenwood wrote a good article. Uh, the Worlds of Ballas Vallejo, a board game illustrated with 30 different Vallejo paintings from Mayfair Games out of Chicago, Illinois. Hmm. Not familiar with that one. Continuing on our very long article, we have Turn Dragon Problems into Child's Play for the Game Master's Guide and other things from Nichols Services in Columbus, Georgia. Uh, Strategic Studies Group uh, present Reach for the Stars, the C Conquest of the Galaxy. That's for Apple II. Oh, computer game, Reach for the Stars. There you go. Out of Walnut Creek, California. Continuing on our very long devil article. And still working it. That's a long one. That's a good chunk of the magazine. The Ideal Mapping System. Rigid, transparent, erasable grids for war games and role-playing games. From Britain Designs out of Chicago, Illinois. Cyworld. It's a Cyworld after all. From Fantasy Games Unlimited. You can play with the powers of your mind. Out of Roslyn, New York. Continuing on. Finishing up, Traveling the Sticks. I did, actually did a campaign, or part of a campaign, where the group, for reasons in the story, had to, tra tra to travel the sticks. That was pretty neat. I used a lot from this article. And we finally finish a very long article. And then we have Dungeons and Dragons, set three companion rules for D&D, &D, not AD&D, &D, from TSR, Unleash the Power of Your Imagination. Part of the whole split of D&D &D and AD&D. AD&D &D. Uh, &D was published concurrently or D&D &D and AD&D &D were published concurrently. I did have a few I, for D&D. Uh, &D. I wonder if I have any of those anymore. The Armory Paint Chart. There you go, 72 different colors. And we could get the Armory Paints in Games Plus in Mons Prospect, Illinois, and Pegasus Hobbies up in Waukegan, Illinois. Eight devilish questions with answers that Titovilus wouldn't give by Ed Greenwood. Ed Greenwood gets a good chunk of this issue. And then we have writing guidelines for writing for the dragon. And then Dawn of the Ancients. Uh, it's the publishers of Earthwood out of Miami, Florida. Continuing on Ed Greenwood's second article, we go to Spacey Gamey. It's an ad for Spacey Gamey. It's a new game. Uh, out of uh, Oklahoma. Uh, Ardmore, Oklahoma. Hmm. When it comes to dungeon design, we think we have a lot to offer. White Dwarf. Yes, White Dwarf, when it started out as a magazine and did a lot of D&D &D and Traveler stuff, even some champions. And this was distributed through Columbia, Maryland. Look for the yellow labor, uh, label at participating retailers and save up to 65% on dozens of popular TSR products. 10th anniversary pack. Hmm, I, I do remember seeing the Wow, I, I remember seeing a few of these. I didn't buy them because I had this stuff, but wow. And the offer expires on 12-31-85, brought to you by TSR. I do remember seeing some of those packs. That's so weird. Chronicles, a new a novel idea. New book begins telling the saga of Kryn. Yes, I was an early adopter on Dragonlance. I was excited um, after the first couple of novels. Sorry, but the excitement wore off. I didn't think the modules were very good either. Uh, Illuminati. I still like Dragonlance. I like some of the ideas. I didn't like kind of where they want some of the characters, except for Raceland. That was a great character. The Illuminati, the fast, exciting new play-by-mail game of intrigue from Adventure Systems in Houston, Texas. Diamond Dice, over 300,000 sold. Then why do you need my business? Park Ridge, Illinois. And then the World Gamers Guide. Uh, feature the... Uh, oh, okay. Just to... A little feature they were going to do. Science fiction gaming convention calendar. Again, I say it every month. Get back in your time machine. You can go to these. And Feudal Lords from Graph Simulations. A computer, moder computer moderated play by mail. And more than just role playing. The Atlantean Trilogy from Bard Games. Where fantasy becomes reality. And this is out of Greenwich, Connecticut. Don't remember those guys either. And then we have Sleuth Publications Limited, Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. I think I had that game for a while. Uh, the Mansion Murders. It was a, a, as you played, you solved uh, Holmes Mysteries. And now available Mega Mat in Deep Space Black. Oh, that's cool. A hexed map for playing space games. 
And in Sleuth Publications, they are available at these fine stores. Where in Illinois could I have gotten them? Oh, many places. Crocs and Brentano's being most of them. Wow. That's pretty cool. Are you missing a Dragon magazine in your lair? Here you go. You can order, order some back issues. That was pretty convenient. I never did it, but that was pretty convenient. Uh, Treasure Trove, an assortment of all new enchanted items. I remember being real excited when I read this. I loved new magic items. This even has its own little table of contents. And then, and here you go. Lots of different magic items to be used. I gotta read this again. I know I used a lot of these in my games. Wow. Girdle of Lions saw a lot of play at our table. I had two players there. One came from my campaign, I gave it out. And another was somebody that came into the campaign and had one. So for a while I had two guys running around with Girdles of Lions. Really, really good article. Boy, Ed Greenwood earned his money this month. Rail Partha meets RuneQuest. Official RuneQuest characters. Minis. Huh. Don't have any of these guys. Spies Advice. Clearing up top secret game queries by Penny Petticor. Petticord. So it's a Q&A for Top Secret. The year is 100 million BC. First World, a science fiction fantasy war game that allows role-playing. Uh, $10. Oh, and you have to pay per turn. It's pay by mail, it looks like. From White Lion Enterprises, Woodridge, New Jersey. Adventure any place, anytime with Time Master role-playing game. I do remember seeing this by Pace Setter out of Delvin, Wisconsin. Continuing up our Q&A on Top Secret, J&D board, Gaming Boards, who says medieval fantasy role-playing can only be accomplished with medieval gaming techniques. Why not this guy? He wants to sell us some boards, lightweight ones, out of Wichita, Kansas. Here's the end of the editorial at the beginning of the magazine. The Outcasts from Rafam. Those are pretty cool. I love old minis. And coming attractions. Yes, we got a chance to see what was coming out. We had Indiana Jones, Crystal Death, Dragonlance Metal Minis, Adventure Fold-Up Figures, Dragons of Mystery, that's uh, Module DL5, Conan CB2, Against Darkness, I have that one, 2001 A Space Odyssey for Star Frontiers Nighthawks, Lone Wolves, Marvel Super Heroes Adventure, and Saber River for D&D. Not a lot for AD&D, 84 was not a notable year for AD&D. Uh, few things, but not a ton. Aries, science fiction gaming section. Loved having this section. There we have our own table of contents, our own editorial. Does anyone here speak Aslan? Language skills in the Traveler role-playing game. That's pretty cool. I got excited when I saw Traveler stuff in here. Day of the Juggernaut, a Star Frontiers Nighthawks scenario. Nighthawks were, was fun, too. That's the tabletop combat game aspect of uh, Star Frontiers. Amazing for November of 1984 on sale now. Amazing science fiction stories from TSR out of Lake Geneva. They're trying to expand their uh, publishing footprint. The Marvel File by Jeff Grubb. These are Marvel superhero characters for the game shown here with their profiles. These were pretty neat to read because it, it was a way to keep up with characters that maybe weren't appearing in books you didn't read. It's Clobberin' Time, the Marvel Superheroes role-playing game by TSR. Careers in Star Law. More on interstellar law enforcement. I always liked articles like this because it helped expand any kind of game. Uh, Star Frontiers or Traveler. Even Space Opera, which we played at the time. And then later games, of course. We have role play, campaign, and adventure game aids from the Companions. Out of Bath, Maine. Put yourself in the story. Traveler science fiction adventure from Game Designers Workshop. Out of Bloomington, Illinois. I miss you, GDW. Don't leave home without them. New equipment for Gamma World Gaming. Oh boy, did we use these. There's a set of Wolverine Claws. <laughs> those were, uh, those popped up in my campaign. The Role Playing Gaming Asso game, Role Playing Game Association, the RPGA Network, never joined. Oh, I did join. In 2000, I joined with the advent of 3rd edition. That didn't last much, very long, though, unfortunately. We have the end of the article there. And we have Role Aids, Real Magic, Quality Writing, Clear Maps, Detailed Background. And where can I get these in Illinois? Games Plus in Mount Prospect, Buyer's Hobby Shop in Woodstock, Illinois, and Friends Hobby Shop in Waukegan, Illinois. 
<laughs> the Rune and the Dragon. A little bit of fiction for you. Sometimes I read these, sometimes I didn't. It depended on how much time I had with the issue, uh, how interested I was in the, the short story. I don't remember reading this one. Didn't always read the fiction, just a lot of it. Chivalry and Sorcery from Fantasy Games Unlimited. Also, Daredevils Have Adventures, Fantasy Games Unlimited. Out of Roslyn, New York, these guys also published Space Opera. The Shogun Game, such a deal. It's funny that Shogun is popular again. And uh, here we have the Shogun Game. This is based, of course, in the James Clavell novel and the very successful miniseries from 1980. Uh, right on, got questions about an article, send us letters. Duel Masters, exciting new play-by-mail game from Reality Simulations Incorporated out of Tempe, Arizona. The butler didn't do it. Mysterious Adventures and Roleplay. So we had Mercenary Spies and Private Eyes, a contemporary role-playing adventure game uh, for by Michael Stackpole, who went on to write Battletech novels. And the Tribes of Crane, uh, fantasy, fantasy play-by-mail. From Shubel and Son, P.O. Box in Sacramento, California. Death in Dunwich. Well, we got a lot of different stuff. We got the Shogun game ad right here. And then we have Gangbusters, another uh, review there. Halt Intruder, the complete strategist. He's a series of uh, East Coast United States uh, hobby stores. I'm given to understand a couple of them are still around. Live a Charmed Fantasy. You have Camelot, the Blade of. Bingham, and Crystal Ball, and the Dragon's Claw. And these are actual size. Yours for $7.50? Oh, $20, $8.50, and $8.50. D&D posters sold only at Sears. Available in most larger Sears retailers. Wow. I remember Sears went in pretty deep on some of the D&D stuff. Villains and Vigilantes by Fantasy Games Unlimited. Played the original v, &V before I ever played Champions. You've played the rest, now play the best. Heroes Unlimited, most comprehensive hero game on the market. From Palladium Books in Detroit, Wisconsin. Or Detroit, Michigan, sorry. Detroit, Wisconsin. And then with the Gamer's Guide, these are just kind of personals. Uh, little small ads that they would put in. And then the end of the forum articles and index to advertisers where they appeared. And one path leads to night creatures who live to destroy. Choose the Path and the Endless Quest books. TSR published a bunch of these. If adventure has a game, it must be Indiana Jones. The Adventures of Indiana Jones role-playing game. This is also by TSR. Wormy! Gotta love Wormy. Wormy, only two pages of this issue. Wormy's usually three. Then we have some Dragon Mirth. I it, confess, sometime uh, I would just cut to these. That's a pretty good one. He says he's an iron golem. Get it? He's an iron uh, and then Snarf Quest by Elmore. And then we're done with that. We go to Paranoia, a role-playing game of darkly humorous, humorous future from West End Games, New York, New York. Uh, Paranoia is still being uh, printed, published. It's uh, Mongoose publishes it now. They just came out with a new edition. Middle Earth role-playing, the Merp system, based on The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, when the Iron Crown Enterprises had the Tolkien estate uh, license. These are some pretty good products, too. So there you have it. <clears throat> That's November 1984, Dragon number 91. Christmas is coming. I remember uh, buying this one. I want to say it was real close to Thanksgiving. Now, it could be I bought it earlier than that and I read it, but I remember reading this one on, like, the night before Thanksgiving. Uh, still living at home. Uh, I remember my mom was cooking. She was done needing any help from any of us. And, uh, I just remember sitting in the living room reading this. So kind of a, a good memory. I, I like this issue. So there you have it. That's all I've got today on page 121. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Tell your friends. Also take a look at the Patreon. See if you can help me out there be, by becoming a patron. And I'll see you next time on page 121.